K Black Boxing, man, here with a quick video. First and foremost, shout out to the whole LDBC, man. I just finished watching uh, the last press conference for Vargas Broner, Davis, Corlor, Charlo, Santino. LDBC presence was strong in our man. That's how you know you have made it. When the LDBC is hashtag all throughout the goddamn comment section, man. You know, when people are saying, what's up to you, man? Some people even actually say, what's up to K Black, man? Hey, that's a Showtime live stream. You know what I mean? And people in there are saying, what's up to me, man? Hey, man, I am, you know, I am elated, man. And I say that humbly. Man, the LDBC has made it, man. I've been saying we are the only movement that's moving. And if you don't uh, put your blinker on when you try to merge into our lane, don't get ran off the road. And I 100% mean it, and I stand behind that, man. Shout out to the whole LDBC, man. Shout out to everybody in the LDBC that was actually in the comment section of that live stream for Showtime, man. Let's get to it, though. Well, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, uh, for the most part, uh, in press conferences, I really don't you know, put too much into it, you know, it's people saying, it's the boxers saying what they're going to do, and uh, what they believe is going to happen in the outcome of the fight, you know, it's nothing more than the list, um, everybody was professional for the most part, uh, Vargas, Davis, Corlor, uh, Centino, and Charlo, they just say what they had to say, they kept it uh, point blank to the point. They kept they kept it point blank and they kept it uh they were serious. They just you know kept it. They stayed on task. Oh, <sighs> Adrian Broner, man, you know um uh, throughout the bro throughout the uh the live stream, he was like dancing and on in his own little world. He had the micro you know he had the headphones on, and when it came to uh. Asking him a question, his you know his first response was he actually took the headphones off and placed it on the microphone and whatever he was listening to played throughout the you know the uh, where they was located at. And then uh, you know it, it looked like he was joking and he was playing, but it it went it went from being you know playing to being serious real quickly. It it, it escalated real quickly, man. He was call, he called Atlanta Ella be a bitch ass nigga, uh, as well as uh Jesse Vargas. He said that soft ass shit. Uh he said uh Lena LB was saying that soft ass shit. Um he, he was just going off, man. He was just basically saying that they want him to lose. He feel as if Lena LB if is for Jesse Vargas. He feel like everybody is for Jesse Vargas. Um you feel as if they 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 don't they want him to lose so he can run off to the sunset for the most part they um they uh, don't want to see him drive nice cars have jewelry have money blah 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 all the extra BS he was just talking about man uh, Adrian Brown is a head case we all know that and it it, it showed um he couldn't be serious and. Uh, what do you expect from this guy? He know he about to lose, you know? So he's trying to save face. He's trying to act as if he's all, oh, you know, I'm my world, you know, my own world. I'm dancing. I'm acting a fool. Man, listen, for the most part, the most thing I enjoyed about this whole uh, live stream of Showtime was actually the heavily LDBC presence in the comment section, man. And it's just basically showing us that the LDBC is definitely the movement, Okay. I heard what the what the guys got to say. They was professional. AB was a clown. It's nothing more, nothing less. Man, shout out to the whole LDBC, man. Like, comment, subscribe.